So in this video, we're going to see another example of using Maclaurin series to evaluate a limit. So find the limit as x tends to 0 of 1 take away cosine x over sine squared x. So the first check is that if I substitute x as 0 into the numerator, I get 1 take away 1, which is 0. And if I substitute x into the denominator, I get sine of 0, which is 0. OK? So... Let's evaluate this by using Maclaurin series. So we have the limit as x tends to 0 of 1 take away. Now, cosine x is 1 take away x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial take away, etc. Now, in the denominator, we've got sine squared. OK, so that's sine x times sine x. So I'm going to have x take away x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 5 over 5 factorial, take away, etc. Times by x take away x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 5 over 5 factorial, etc. OK, so this is my setup. Now I need to simplify the numerator and denominator. Now, in the numerator, we've got 1 take away 1, and the rest of the terms are going to get multiplied by that minus sign. So we're going to have x squared over 2 factorial, uh, take away x to the 4 over 4 factorial, take away etc., or plus etc. Now, in the denominator, we're going to have x times x, so x squared. Then we're going to have x times this term here, so minus x to the 4 over 3 factorial. Well, actually, let's expand them over here so that we've got getting all the terms. So we've got x squared, we've got take away x to the 4 over 3 factorial. OK, so that one times that one. Then I'm going to have that one times that one. Now, I'm not going to need to go too far with this, so I'm going to ignore any terms beyond that x cubed over 3 factorial times x, so uh, minus x to the 4 over 3 factorial there, and then I'm going to get x to the 6, etc. OK, so actually I can combine those into 1 and have that as take away 2x to the 4 over 3 factorial plus all the other terms. OK, right, let's simplify these fractions. So we've got the limit as x tends to 0 of 1 half x squared take away, so uh, 4, 4 factorial is 24, so 1 over 24x to the 4 plus etc. Over x squared, then we've got 2 divided by, what's that? oh it's just 6 isn't it? So yeah, so 1 third x to the 4 plus etc. Now I'm going to divide by x squared, top and bottom. So I'm going to get 1 half take away 1 over 24x squared plus a load of other terms. And in the denominator, we're going to get 1 take away 1 third x squared plus a load of other terms. So as x tends to 0, all of those terms are going to tend to 0, apart from the 1 half over 1 which is 1 half. And so the limit of this function as x tends to 0 has to be 1 half.